Hello everybody again. Got another tutorial for you guys. Uh, this one's pretty much to redo your appliances, whether it be a fridge, oven hood, stove, could be a sink, pretty much anything you know that has a metal surface that you want to redo. I mean, look at that. Paint's all coming off. Instead of, of course, buying a brand new one, which could be up in the hundreds, got this uh, can of appliance epoxy, like eight bucks at Lowe's. Uh, so what you want to do there is we'll give this a nice coat, make this look brand new. Like I said, it could go for a fridge, oven hood, stove, pretty much really anything, you know. <clears throat> So uh, what we're going to need, of course, sandpaper. So you want to make sure you get all this residue, old chipped paint off of there. Uh, you need a rag, some paint thinner, and of course the epoxy. And some tape, so we don't get, you know, the epoxy on this wood cupboard. So yeah, the first thing to do would be to sand down any rough areas, any areas that have chipped paint, or, you know, it's right over a stove, so of course you're gonna have grease splatters throughout the entire thing. So pretty much just sand it down, all lumps, all grease, all stains, all chipped paint, you want that to be sanded nicely. If there's any grease, any residue, anything like that, once you spray your epoxy, it's gonna start bubbling. Make sure you get every little piece you can off. I've actually already previously sanded this one. Just giving you guys an, an idea. I uh, got a rag with a little bit of paint thinner on it. Just want to give it a nice wipe down. All the marks off. You don't want any sort of loose paint or anything like that on there. Okay. Now the next step is going to be, I had to tape this stuff off, and I only have two hands, and I need both hands to tape, so there's the camera down right there. We also want to get this up here. There's nothing wrong with this. I don't want to paint over the letters or the buttons, so I'm just going to put the tape right over the top. sealed on all sides. What we do here now, you can just see through the tape. We're going to take our blade right at the top. All we're trying to do is cover those buttons. Make sure your blade is nice and sharp.
this corner over here. Like I said, you can just barely see where to cut. The harder you press down, the more of a line you'll see. I'll kind of give you a guideline on where to cut. So take your blade, straight down, meet your other cuts. All right. Just want to pop this corner out. Make sure. Just peel that right off. Some of the corners get stuck. Just give the little nice little cut with the blade. This side. Get it straight down. Right, this corner right here. Right there. Cut this up. Okay. Now Even if it's not absolutely perfect, as long as your lines are decently straight, paint will look nice when you're finished. Okay. Alright, that's that. There's the oven hood, all taped off. I taped these corners right along here so I didn't hit the wall. I taped down here. So I didn't, you know, hit that side. You, you know, use as much as tape as you want. I use this, this much because, you know, I do this a lot, so I'm not too afraid of getting it places I don't want it. All right. Uh, you want to shake your can. Of course, read the directions. You just want to start by giving it slow swipes. Slow swipes. You already tell a difference. In a brand new white looking color. Down, swipe over. I tell you right now, it's better to give small coats than larger coats, otherwise, you'll have a lot of dripping. If you don't catch the dripping before it dries, you're just going to have to re-sand it all. Back there. Come out. Like I said, I'm painting a stove top. This could be done with a refrigerator, an actual stove, a sink. Of course, you'll need different, you know, epoxy for the sink. Same general idea. You want to sand it. Tape where you don't want the paint to go. Use paint thinner to get all that access paint off. Look at that. Practically brand new. That was just a real quick coat. I have the air on in here. And I've been going over it really light. So, I can go ahead and give it a second go really quick. That way, come back, light sprays, quick movements. You don't want to hold the spray can in the same spot for too long, otherwise you will get drips, and that's never pretty. There you go. Brand new oven hood. So what I'm going to do is let this dry, I don't know, I'll say a good 30 minutes or so, depending on the temperature in your house. I'll go ahead and remove all the tape. In fact, let me just take this one off to show you guys. Buttons I did not want to touch. Look at that. Brand new. So, that's about it for this video. If you guys would like to see any sort of restorations, any more tutorials, you name it, I'll try to do it for you guys. Let me know what you like. If you do like this video, please comment, subscribe, 
and give me a thumbs up. Thank you guys very much. Hope you like it.